Hey, hello neighbors, it's Corbellic and welcome back to the neighborhood. I'm gonna be doing some maintenance in the Corbellic's neighborhood right now. Something new just to show you how to build things up. I'm gonna be showing you how to build one of these townhouses that's right behind me as you can see right there the square structure but to start things off let's start building up this road right here i wanted to build this road up the reason i want to start doing this video series right here is that uh that way i can have more videos to actually shoot that way it won't take me a while to release a video and you be like hey corbellic where's the videos at that way you could just see how i kind of work when doing these uh videos if you remember the uh townhouse video uh where I had the townhouses at the San Francisco townhouses. Do you remember how I built up this roadway right here? I just did most of it off uh, screen right here just to complete the structure on here. I hope everybody's been doing good. Hope everybody's going to be having a good week. Today is Monday, so to start things off, just, uh, yeah, you know, I think it's a good way to start the week off. So just so you can see how I start these off right here, I don't really care how I do the, the structure or how high I, I build it up. Just just build them up however high you want. You know, you could do something like this, and then we'll, we'll figure it out how, how things go. I just start with a square block, and then the first thing that I go into is my front door. So let's go with the stairs right now. Let's lay these stairs down. There we go. I like my stairs to be a little bit elevated, so we're going to put these stairs in. And then let's try to bust down some of this grass right here. So I always like to have this. That's where you can see the stuff around me. I have a potion of swiftness. That way, you know, when I lay these bricks down or when I tear uh, blocks down, I, it, it, you know, it just helps me work faster. So that's the cool thing. If you watch most of these tutorials, some of them, some of these people will tell you all oh, things have to be uh, 13 blocks wide. They have to be 10 blocks high. They have to be this, that, the other. I'm not going to do any kind of tutorial videos like that. We're just going to go with the wind. We're just going to have fun with it. And I don't know. Let's just do it all together. So now I'm building the second floor right here. And like I said, you know, I'm not doing any kind of math on here, how high things should be or whatever. I'm just kind of feeling good about what the height should be. This is going to be just a, a two story house. So this is the second floor right here and we'll add another we'll add another brick underneath the second story right there just so we can have more fun like putting in light chandeliers and things like that. So let's have the stairs come down. I really love this look when it comes to the San Francisco, um, you know, these townhouses where it kind of has these, um, you know, everything, everything about them, even the indoors where they have these, uh, you know, these looks where, where the steps come down and they're not like just flat everything is not flat and then we're just going to do something funky we're just going to do something crazy right now with the windows you know me how i do my building designs i like to have some kind of different uh, lightings i like to have different kind of colors just just throw things to the wind i really don't care and that's that's what i suggest for you as well just have fun with your designs and don't think too much about it because as long as we just keep going on with our designs and as long as we just keep building things then it's just going to add it's just going to look like it's adding to our beautiful catalog of things but if we just try to analyze on one structure one house and things like that then of course we're going to nick uh we're going to nitpick about all the little details so we still want to be we still want to somewhat be detailed we want to have our foundation of how we like to build but we don't want to be too much detail where we're just trying to nitpick about it because we have so many cool things to add to our neighborhood and to our foundation i want to see some of you guys neighborhoods as well on this one we're just going to add some uh different window design i wanted to do different colors so we're going to add glass panes i just did uh what is that white panes and then brown so we can have like this grand big window design and we can see like the backyard the, so now we're going to add our stairs right here and you can just see some somewhat of how my mind works when I do the stairs. I do like front, back, front, back, and then I'll do the same design like that. Now then when I, when I finish it up, if I want to get more detail, then I'll change the back side. I'll change it to a different color or, or something like that. And then I'll also change like the front up, but at least we have our foundation of what things are going to look like or where our stairs are going to be and stuff like that. So that way we kind of, kind of map out the, uh, living room and the kitchen area and different areas like that actually now that i'm looking at this i don't think this is going to work out where i'm where i'm doing this stair area i think it's fine that we go up against the wall but i think when we come back up on the second floor we're going to probably want to have another like a uh, wall area or some kind of like railing area up against it All right, i'm going to show you what i'm talking about so here we're going to we're going to take this out right here 
there we go we're gonna take that out and then we're gonna put in some stairs that's gonna be closer to this wall right here so let's put some stairs in right here let's double up and you can have fun with this you know you can even single up that's why I don't want to be too critical and be like hey everything needs to be uh, 10 blocks 13 blocks I don't want to count blocks with you guys I really want you guys just to see how fun and how loose I'm, I'm building with my designs and that way you can feel comfortable about building with your designs being as loose as as, as well and just have fun with it and that way you're not building exactly what I'm showing you to build but you're just doing your own kind of little creative spin on it and then you, that way you can send me you know on, on Twitter or on Instagram if you guys still follow me on there you can send me your designs and different things on there so that'd be really cool and then I can give you a shout out and maybe one of the shout out videos of how we do things all right so I didn't put a un, I didn't put a stair upside down on that one I just put a half slab so now let's fill this in let's fill this in with clay right here let's just do the different colors so here we could take this stair out right there like I said I, sometimes I always change those out and then let's do um no let's do a darker color right here and then let's do a lighter color right there and let's do the no let's do the darker color down there so you can just see, I always like to go back. I like to look at my work. I like to see it on the outside. I look to, like to look at it on the inside before I add, start adding more work. Just to see what the color palette is gonna be. I really like to change up the colors and different things. On this one, I already know that we're gonna be changing this up. I already know that we're gonna be changing the foundation up on this, but at least I like to just throw things on the on the palette or on the <laughs> on the canvas like we're like we're painting something just throw something up on there and then later up we can actually change the artwork of it we could change everything up but at least i just like to look you know where, where we're going in this direction so we're just going to throw up a little quick roof right here we can change the colors of this later or we can change where we're going with it try to have it be as much symmetrical as possible symmetrical meaning that you know like just we'll try to have everything evened up you know, if it's going to be two on one side, then let's try to have it two on the other side. So let me know in the description below what's been going on with you guys. Uh, if anything new has been going on, anything exciting, how school been going on so far? I think now it's like, what are we in a, a month now? It's a month of uh, going on with school. So how's that been going? How How is your teachers, uh, any new teachers or anything that going on that way or even tell me in the description below what you what you guys think of the new series that we're going on right here where i'm kind of showing you how i build up corbelli's neighborhood i'm really excited about this new series um the, the reason that i'm excited about this is one it, it inspires me to make more of these videos but it also inspires me to shoot more in corbelli's neighborhood where i could build things i, I gotta be honest with you I, I i haven't been building as many things in corbelli's neighborhood just because i haven't been feeling as inspired to do it you know um, i feel like how i've been preparing for my videos i'll build all of these things up and it'll take me like you know maybe two, a week or maybe it'll take me two weeks to actually build something grand up and then i'll shoot a video of what i did but in the meantime you know i'll have some of my my coolest neighbors where they're like hey where's the videos at and i don't want to feel like that i want to feel like we're kind of doing this together i'm kind of showing you my thought process and um, i mean i've shot so many videos now of Corbellic's neighborhood where i think that now we can actually do videos like this together where i'm building the thing because now you i feel like um i gained your confidence and, and trust <laughs> that you know that i'm a i'm a decent builder i'm a decent builder i'll just say that i'll be modest i'm a decent builder but i mean even though as you can see on here i really i'm rusty and i mean I, I think i'll get better as 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 we go on with this new series right here i will get better but i'm rusty right now we're on to building creative mode on minecraft just because i haven't done it in like a like really done it but i'm excited to get back into it that's the thing about minecraft it's so weird like i always I always try to tell people that the, the hardest part about minecraft is really just sticking with the game it's not about building blocks it's not about putting things together and making things look cool it's really just sticking with the game i've been playing this game for over four years now and i can't tell you how many times that i've taken a break just so i could you know enjoy the game still and keep everything fresh i remember this one time i took a break for six months i took a break six months haven't played the game or nothing but then it was cool because when i came back to the game after six months then i was so excited to play it again i wanted to play it so just cool things like that and i think I, when, when i did take my six month hiatus my six month uh, break it was after i built like my extensive subway system 
it's a subway system that goes all the way around the map <laughs> yes there's the trolley noise right there you guys are familiar with this subway system you know what, what's going on all right so here right here i feel like I'm, I'm going a little bit slow but this is just you know some of the details that i put into to the work right here a lot of a lot of uh half slabs and also a, a lot of uh upside down stairs or stairs and things like that and then you could just have fun with it here right now we're just putting on some buttons but you could also be fancy you could add some ladders right here you see how i added that ladder and then we could just throw that on there boom let's see what other spots that we can add some ladders on here let's take this off and add some ladders right there and then now we could just add a roof on here yeah now that i'm looking at this design of the of the, of the roof or this cap right here I, I can already tell that I'm going to probably change this around. <laughs> yeah, let's destroy that. Let's get rid of that right there and let's do that again. Let's, <laughs> let's try that again, Corbellic. All right, here we go. All right, not the greatest, but it's not the worst either. So at least we have that in there. And then I'm telling you, everything is going to look so beautiful. When we have the interior decoration, that's going to be on probably episode two of this like part two of the townhouse when we add the interior decoration and then this is going to be added to our townhouses our townhouse block we're probably going to add three more townhouses and then after that it's going to be so cool because then it's like when it's looked at like as a whole you know with all the townhouses then it's like wow i love stuff like that and i gotta say i don't know if it's me let me know in the description below but check this out I've been looking at some of the videos on YouTube or on some of the other people's channels and maybe they have like YouTube stuff but it, it, they'll have it on the PC and I swear to you I feel like the Xbox 3 or the Xbox on the Xbox One Minecraft it looks better than the PC stuff now I mean I understand that some of that stuff is, is like uh, they have the shaders on there or, or it's like the different texture packs and things like that but there's just something that's really organic and that feels smooth about the Xbox One that really looks better on the graphics to me. It's because it doesn't look as much as the PC where the PC it looks like those little blocky textures even though it's like a beautiful t a PC. I don't know if I'm even explaining myself right. I might be sounding crazy or maybe I'm biased because I feel like I'm the king of the uh, console Xbox or the <laughs> of the Minecraft where I do this all on the con consoles and we just do this manually brick by brick but I'm telling you I was looking at some people's stuff and I was like yeah I like the modern build it looks cool what they did I, I can respect it but on the Xbox it looks really good all right so right here just adding in some extra and that's the thing, you know, just play around with a lot of the different blocks, you know, just play around with a lot of the different designs. Just see what you can come up with. We're going to add some upside down stairs right there. And then right here, we're going to add some um, beacons right here, you know, just some different type of lighting underneath that. So so that way at nighttime, we can have some lighting. Because like I said, I mean, I really do lock this area off. I really do lock this world off into survival mode or not survival mode but yes yeah, survival mode i really do lock this on folks on survival mode normal mode so I, I try not to have a zombie infestation problem or anything like that and i want to have things lit well and just looking good you know i mean what's the point of having a pretty world and all this nice stuff but everything was on peaceful and you know zombies can't live in it so let's just add some indents right here very important that we add some indents just some di different you know it just adds some different textures right here we're going to poke holes and we're going to add some um you know some glass just to let the sun come through a little bit let's add some indents to the side as well or actually no let's add a porch porch lamp i like to add these porch lamps right here and then we can put these beacons on there and then what we do we click in on the right analog stick and we can just add some signs on there see look at that don't forget the signs all right let's see let's look at it let's let's step back and still look at it. i still want to fix something up with this doorway right here so let's try to have it match up with the color take as much of this, this snow out as possible boom let me know in the description below if you guys are feeling this design or not if not it's totally understandable i'm not feeling some of this design as well there i mean i'm kind of rusty on here we're going to get better at things yeah, it's going to look a lot better there's going to be more cool things that we're going to be building together but uh, I think it, I think it's pretty cool, cool so far what we did. I can't wait to do the interior decoration. That's the stuff that I really get excited for is the interior decoration. We're gonna have that on the next episode, but not not bad for the the first episode. So 
let me know in the description below put a like down on the video thank you so much for putting that like on there it looks pretty good and like always thank you for leaving a like on the video it shows your appreciation for the channel and for the series i mean yeah we're not bad looking pretty good i can't wait to see you guys on the next episode but like always i'll see you on the next video and